I think I made a pun. <laughs> Web design. Oh. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> Not like a good pun, even, but like just. <laughs> okay. Welcome to Oak Leaf Cakes. I'm Crystal, um, and today we're gonna learn how to do some really fun and easy Halloween cupcakes for your party or for your kids. You can do all these at home. Uh, so the first ones we're gonna make are dirt and worms. Um, it's really good. It's uh, just chocolate cake with chocolate buttercream. And then we're gonna learn how to make some chocolate spider webs on these red velvet cupcakes. Um, the next one is zombie brains. Um, it's just strawberry buttercream, don't worry, <laughs> on these uh, lemon cupcakes. And then the last ones uh, we'll do are some fun little fondant jack-o'-lanterns on the carrot cupcakes. So the first thing we're going to do is learn how to fill a piping bag. Um, so I have a reusable piping bag here and a round tip. These tips come in sets usually. Um, and they're, I use like the biggest one here. This one's an 808, but whatever the, one of the bigger ones, um, is you can use. So, uh, what you want to do first is unfold the bag and then drop the tip in. And you want to make sure the hole doesn't cover the, the tip. And you're going to put your hand in like you're holding an ice cream cone. Um, I know you can't really see it, but it's folded about halfway down. And we got our chocolate buttercream here. We're gonna use the uh, Italian meringue buttercream. We have a tutorial of how to make our buttercream, so um, you can just follow the link uh, below the video. We're gonna actually fill the piping bag, which seems really easy, and it is, but most people do it kind of the wrong way at first, and then there's all these air bubbles in your bag, and it'll just explode everywhere. Um, so we don't really want that to happen. What we're gonna do is get our uh, spatula, and you just wanna scoop the buttercream and using your fingers that are along the edge to just guide it in and holding the bag. So instead of just shoving it in like this, I'm really just packing it in, um, and I describe it like brown sugar, so that way all the air just gets smushed down. And there's less, less chance of having air pockets. And you don't need to overfill your bags. Um, it makes it pretty hard to use. So I just fill it until this part that was folded down becomes full. So just like that. Um, and so the next part I want to um, do is make sure that this bag is sealed shut. So if I were to squeeze the bag and I wasn't sealing this part shut, it's going to go all up that way and you're going to have a mess. So what you want to do is twist the bag a couple times, maybe hold it over the, the bowl of buttercream and give it a squeeze and you're all set to go. I'm going to teach you a little bit about piping. Um, with this cupcake flavor, the dirt and worms, if you mess up your piping a little bit, it's okay because we're going to smush the cupcakes in um, this Oreo and graham cracker dirt. So it's, it's a really forgiving cupcake and buttercream design, but I'm gonna give you a little demo on piping anyway. So I have my chocolate cupcakes and I'm gonna take my bag of buttercream and I'm gonna go directly over the cupcakes straight up and down with my bag and just hover a bit. I don't wanna smash into the cupcake and I don't wanna to go too far away. Just wanna find a perfect distance and then make a nice little swirl like that. Now, if you're, again, if this comes out looking a little weird, we're gonna be able to fix it really soon. So again, maybe I'll add a little less buttercream to this one and not do that little top swirl. So it's a nice fluffy swirl of chocolate. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is get my, my Oreo dirt and 
This seems a little scary, but it's really fun. I'm just going to smush the cupcake in, and now it's covered in dirt, which is really fun. So I'm just going to smush it in like this. And now it's nice and flat. Um, so it removes any mistakes that you've made, which is pretty handy. Um, now we're going to add the worms. So we just have these um, gummy worms here. What I like to do is get um, some clean scissors and just cut them right in half. Seems a little, a little sad, but it'll be fun in the end. I'll stick them in the cupcake like so. It's, it seems like you want to add a lot to them, but it's going to weigh down the buttercream too much and it might shift around. So I really only put two halves in. And I like to mix up the colors too, that way we get the most bang for our buck. And that's it. It's pretty simple and it looks really fun and kids really, really like these. Our next cupcake is the uh, red velvet and we're just doing vanilla buttercream. Um, you could also use cream cheese, which is very popular, or any other um, white buttercream. Um, but for, for right now, we're just going to do vanilla. Um, so I filled up my bag and squeeze it out. I'm going to start right in the center here and hover over the cupcake. And I want to have um, a steady... Um, speed and pressure going on. If I go too fast and I don't squeeze out enough, it's going to look all broken up and kind of deflated. And if I squeeze too slow um, and um, go, or if I squeeze too much and go too slow, um, it's going to be really crooked looking. So finding the right speed and pressure will get you a nice even looking poof like that. And so for the next one, so you want to have some melted chocolate handy. Uh, we put it in a little disposable piping bag and I'm just going to cut the tip of this off. Um, and I don't want to make the cut too big, just enough. So this is just melted dark chocolate. Um, and you want to get some clean uh, toothpicks. So we're going to make um, kind of like a bullseye with the chocolate. So I'm going to just put a little dollop right in the center, like that, and then two rings. You know what? I think I need to cut this a little bit more. I think I was being a little too conservative. I'm just going to go back over that. This is good. This is a good thickness. And it's okay if they're a little um, wonky, because we're going to mess them up anyway. All right, so I got my funky little uh, bullseye going on. So with your toothpick, I'm gonna start from the center and I'm just gonna drag out the butter, or the, uh, the chocolate. And I just flip over the toothpick because I don't wanna drag what's already there. Um, you can also get a clean, wet rag and uh, just wipe off your toothpick. So this one requires a little bit of practice. Your first couple of ones might not look that great, um, but just keep on practicing. This next cupcake uh, on our lemon cupcakes, we're gonna do strawberry uh, zombie brains. So in this bag, we have a small round tip and we have our strawberry buttercream which is just um, strawberry jam mixed in with, with our um, vanilla Italian meringue buttercream. So it's really, really good. And then in another little disposable bag here, um, we just have the strawberry jam. That's going to be like the guts of the brains. <laughs> this sounds so silly. Um, so I made swirls, and what I did was just flatten out the swirl a little bit because um, it'll help us make the, the dome of the brain. So what we're going to do first is pipe a, a line down the center and it'll differentiate the two hemispheres of the brain. Um, and then I'm just going to pipe a bunch of random whoop, squiggles. Sometimes your strawberry jam will get stuck, but that's okay. And then I'm going to redraw that line. And then I'm going to add a second line. 
down the middle here. Okay, and then I'm going to make the other set of squiggles. Nice line. And then I'm going to do all those little squigglies. Redraw the line. And here are some brains. Um, so the next part we can do is add the guts on top, which is just more, some more strawberry jam. Um, and there's no real like technique to do this. You just kind of glob it on. I try not to do too, too much because there's already strawberry in the buttercream. I'll do the second one. So this is perfect for uh, any of your zombie friends that want brains. Ooh. Okay. So for our last one, um, we're going to uh, make some, some fun uh, jack-o'-lantern little fondant accents to put on top of the cupcake. Uh, so I just have some carrot cupcakes here. And um, I got some cinnamon um, Italian meringue buttercream. So you just add cinnamon to taste. Um, so I'm going to use this star tip and I'm just going to go right on top here and make that nice swirl. There's a little bit of cinnamon that didn't get super mixed in with that one. We're going to get some orange fondant. Our fondant is our marshmallow fondant and we make it here. You can watch our tutorial of how to make the fondant as well. Um, so what I'm going to grab from here a rolling pin, our little jack-o'-lantern cookie cutter, um, some cornstarch, some edible markers, which are really fun. Uh, you can grab these at a craft store as well. And um, this little tool with like a straight edge on it, um, it's going to get me a little bit of definition in the, uh, the pumpkin. I have some uh, orange fondant already made and it's going to tap some cornstarch on the table. So whenever you're rolling out fondant, you wanna make sure you have some cornstarch so it doesn't stick to the table. And I have my little cookie cutter. And just gonna cut two little pumpkin shapes. What I want to do first is get this tool with the little edge on it. And this is the stem right here. And these are the little like curves of the pumpkin. I'm just gonna go in and just kind of exaggerate those just so it's not a, um, just a flat cookie cutter. It'll give it a little bit more personality. Just like that. Make them a little different from each other too. Okay. And then with this brown marker, I'm gonna lightly, you don't want to really press down with these markers if your fondant is super soft because they'll ruin the marker and they'll just look like it's pressed into the fondant rather than painted on. So you just want to go nice and gentle and just giving it a little bit of brown for the, um, the stump or the vine because they're not really stumps. Just like that. And now, with the black marker, I get to do whatever I want for the face. Um, so I'm, when I'm making these for the store, I do lots of really silly ones. Um, I'll just show you a more basic face first. So we're going to get, draw on some triangle eyes. And then you're going to make a basic kind of smile like that. 
and then draw the other part of the mouth. And I'm gonna do a bump up for like a tooth. And the second one. And then you just color in the rest. So now it looks like he has these two funny little teeth. And they're really cute. And then you can just put it right on top of the cupcake. I like to put it on top of where I ended the swirl so it's all nice and, and crisp. Um, I'll make another one. I'm gonna make a more uh, naughty or sinister looking one. And I'm making these like kind of U-shaped eyes so they're like angry. And then I'm gonna do a squiggly mouth. Another squiggle. So it looks like he's cackling or yelling. So he's angry. Ah! <laughs> that was necessary. <laughs> and then you just put it right on top. And now we got some fun cupcakes for your party. Thanks for joining us. Uh, I'm Crystal and I really hope that you have fun making these Halloween cupcakes at home. Now what do we do with these? <laughs>